Hello everyone, welcome back to The Darkest Dungeon. I'm on exactly the same screen as you just left me on in the previous episode. That's because we're going to do exactly the same thing. Uh, two of our party did bail when they saw that we were going to do something boring, so let's bring them back into the fold. Uh, and let's undo the silly thing that I did, which was to unequip all trinkets, even though I was perfectly happy with the trinkets that we had. Now, we're taking a level 5 Raikuda with level 4 abilities because we're not going to upgrade everybody yet because um, that went so well and a short mission we can just get it over and done with quickly and try not to die um, the previous set of things we had which was the quick draw charm and like one of these you know, damage the trap disarm thing I think with the dodge didn't necessarily help us too much although if you do dodge when you've got repost on, you still get the repost usually, except for certain attacks. Um, I think maybe we want to do some more damage, <laughs> basically. Now, where are we going? I, I haven't even... I keep forgetting this. I think we're going to the cove. Which isn't as stressy as it could be, so maybe we do want more dodge. I think I'm going to keep it. It works out okay for us. We did get a new Vestal Trinket, if you recall. 8 speed on first round, 1 speed after that, and less of a stun skill chance, which is always the case for Vestals. It's like, why have you even got a stun skill if none of your trinkets let you use it? Um, which is this one anyway, so I, I, I don't... Fair. It's fair to say I, I, I don't. But what are we going to do with this Antiquarian here? Because the Antiquarian has somehow survived to level 5, despite all the odds. Um, we haven't upgraded anything, because it's only got 12,000. And basically, I'm just trying to... Burn through another mission and not go completely do lally as well. Is, is it Eldritch in the cove? I think it is. Do you know what? I'm going to cheat. Darkest Dungeon Cove. Meanwhile, whilst that's loading, I think... I mean, these books are good, but when we get to level 5 missions, we have to start thinking about trying to make the best of the actual character. And the nervous stab that this antiquarian can do is actually really good. I mean... It's surprisingly good. I wouldn't put it on the class of, like, Iron Swan or something. Iron Swan. Um, but it, it, it's surprisingly useful. Because it can always top off whenever an enemy is, like, half a half a health. You know, one health away, which would otherwise be death. Faithless. Um, we, can, we can really get some value out of that final little stab there. Just to, just to knock him over the edge. But I, I kind of want just, like, stabby damage. More prop, more dodge. Not dying would be good. You do get more accuracy in position 4, but most of the time, don't forget, this unit will be uh, buffing us. So accuracy is not that valuable. Less stress damage could be good, then we could keep using Ellie for other stuff. But really, I'm just thinking maybe I want to do some damage. Just stabby, stabby damage. Please let me do stabby stabby damage. Yes. Less dodge is a bit of a shame. We've got way less dodge than we should do. Uh, you have got Eldritch, Unholy Eldritch, Unholy, and then the normal humans and beasts. Right. Unholy and Eldritch, which is the party that we've got going for us, seems great. Let's provision and this time we can afford it. I think we only need eight, eight torches there. Take a couple of keys because um, there are a lot of chests... But some of these chests are actually better opened with a shovel. So I'm going to take a few shovels this time. Uh, and the medicinal herbs you can use on the coral. So we will take that too. And we'll actually take some food because it would be silly not to. I mean, this is basically what we took last time. Except we've got... I'm going to take some of these because of those motherfuckers that keep attacking the shit out of us. I'm going to take loads, actually. Three is loads. Uh, promise. Holy water probably is useful on something. I'm not quite sure. I just saw something out the corner of my eye and it spooked me. Still drinking the same whiskey. You've got to take it slowly. Okay. Can't rush these things. Oh, I just splashed it. What the hell? I've only had a couple of swigs. I was gesticulating with it. And it retaliated. It's whiskey for you. Space or click to the continue. The smell of rotting fish is almost unbearable. Oh, the thing out of the corner of my eye was my headphone cable. You joker. Uh, explore 90% of rooms, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, which means we can skip one. But should we? 
I think there's no point tempting fate. Which is to say, if we go to a battle that we don't have to do, we are putting ourselves in a position where we could end up regretting it. Simply because... What is your... Is it still... It's 95. Um, it could be a very disastrous fight. This could be a holy water thing. In radiance, could may it? we find victory. Let's use it. We've got it for free. No, just use it. Okay. Ooh. Slugger. All right, slugger. Oh, no worries. And hard noggin was okay, but uh, I don't mind taking slugger, slugger. You flaming galah. All right, here's uh, one of our percents of rooms. Good. I'm gonna go back. Um, doing that one. It could be one of the worst fights we've ever had to deal with because that's what happens in the cove and I'm still slightly bitter even though that's been some time. Uh, we don't actually have any units that can really do any bleed so if we do get one of those crabs with a huge amount of protection we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. The light, the promise of safety. Uh, should have used the antiquarian but that's you know, no harm no foul I guess. It's these things, they're okay, but the fact that they're all the fucking same means we're going to be getting... They're going to be dancing around a lot like me, so... I guess we try and hit the one at the, 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 the back. See, this, you still get the riposte even if you miss. You don't get the heal if you miss, which is just nonsense. Excuse me, where did the extra stress come from, by the way? Can we talk about that? Pretty sure you didn't have that much stress when we left the last one. It's okay. If uh, Doug flips out, Doug flips out. I mean, what are you going to do? You are Eldritch, so you're going to be doing more damage against them, but nobody else is. I think we've still got the right setup, though. Just try and do as much damage as possible, I suppose. We've got high dodge. I think we try and remove the dodge from the one that we're going to shoot in the face, basically. Which did work. So now they all get a go, which is kind of a problem, because you don't really want all these units having a go. In quick succession without the opportunity to oh that's bad uh move around if this is going to happen more oh okay fair enough <laughs> i was going to say if this is going to happen more often we're going to want to replace this with holy lance i think it is uh if we can oh we get even more goes of course i guess so much for the dodge debuff there we go they all get a go anyway what is this yeah Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, we will maintain this dodge. Could have moved. Don't really think it's that necessary. Now I'm going to wish I had. No, we're okay. Uh, we'll definitely heal this unit because I'm scared of it. Could have crit. It would have been nice. Where's my riposte, by the way? Did you, did you get... You didn't get attacked at all. Excuse me? You feeling okay? Now we're going to have to do something about these corpses as well, which is going to be a super problem. Can we kill it with, um, not battle heal? Oh, incidentally, do you have... We do not have Holy Lance. Great. Uh, but we do have Bulwark of Faith, and we're never going to use battle heal, so I think I'll switch that out. Um, what's this? 6 to 11. It's not even enough for a corpse. Crikey. Well, I guess we try and stun it. Did work. Pretty decent chance of it working, but it's not guaranteed at all. You've got damage versus Eldritch. I'm going to start doing damage rather than buffs for now, because we've got plus 18 dodge ourselves. <laughs> it's not working at all for us. Oh, goodness. Uh, now you can smite it. And then you can attack it. Oh, stop killing my people. Do I get a go? See, this is, this is the shit that happens. I have been, this is bad luck to have got what is usually a good thing, which is uh, the, the, the surprise on the other party. That's usually great. Not in this case. In this case, it's killed my, uh, nearly killed my Vestal because we, we don't get a go. <laughs> Again, stop attacking the same fucking unit. Seriously. And then we're not going to get a go because they're really fast. I mean, everyone... Many people have... Um, oh my god, you dodged the only opportunity I've ever had <laughs> of getting a fucking riposte. I, I think we have to battle heal here. And... I mean, 
There's nothing else we could have done anyway. But just in case they attacked Doug again. Like, what is this fucking situation right now? Can we talk about this? I knew I hated the cove and I'd forgotten. <laughs> I really hate it. This is bad as shit. All hell. Let's get rid of these. I'm gonna have to at some point, right? Um. <laughs> I wanna do that. Let's heal everybody. Oh, a crit on that. It, I mean, it's pretty good, but at the same time, you fucking what? You know? Can you please stop spearfishing, by the way? Let's do this. This is gonna be. Yeah, that's enough. Of course, you crit it. Crit that one, which was up for it, you know? Yeah, keep dodging. I mean, I'm pretty sure they attack at random, right? They don't just... Oh, thank you. We're back in the right position. They don't just go for somebody. But it's just been bad luck that Doug's taken all the, the heat. See, if I'm leaving corpses and we haven't got anything to deal with the corpses. Yes. That was a gamble. I'll admit. Definitely a gamble. I mean, we, could, we do have a bleed, actually. So we don't have to do what we've been doing. Please. <laughs> don't die. And don't stress out, either. I mean, come on. Yes. The that was a lot of damage. That was a hell of a lot of damage. You've got level 4 armor. And you nearly got wasted by that. Well, no one else is going to fucking do anything. Hell with it. I don't want to kill that whilst we're on death's door and have no recourse. Like, we can't... Um, we can't heal ourselves out of battle, basically. How much damage is this going to do? I'm really hoping to roll low. Fuck it. I wanted Doug to have a go. Fine. Fine! Uh, whatever. Just, just keep, going. <laughs> keep going. Just keep going. I'm scared. <laughs> okay. Okay, there's no battles for now. But, you know, we're not going to have a go until... I mean, we might not have to do another battle. That's, that's not very likely whatsoever, but... We may get a hunger. Which is what we're looking for, because then we get sort of free healing. It's only a small amount of healing, but healing nonetheless. Yay! I mean, we're not getting too much money out of this, so that's a thousand there, so that's nice. We have to at least make as much money as we spent. And also, why have I got these keys? I'm just saying. Hashtag, just saying. Now, the keys don't work on the... Yeah, that's what I want. Two. Two HP. Uh, the keys don't work on the barnacled chests, so we're going to want to save uh, shuffles for that. I don't need to use a torch now. We know there's not going to be a uh, battle. There could be a battle on the way or in here, though, which is terrifies me to a great extent. You are going to open this. I'm happy when it's loot. Oh, good, 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 good. Like a, a bag of loot, because it means there's not going to be any sort of negative things. The worst that can happen is there's nothing in it, which makes me very happy indeed. Yes, keep eating. Thank you. Of course, I brought all these medicinal herbs for the curios that could benefit from them, and all that happened was nothing. Don't forget we can stack up gold to 2,000 as well. But oh, there's a fucking battle's appeared on the way back. Look at this shit. This better be an easy one. Those groupers are... Oh, shit. <laughs> can we stunlock this bastard? Bleed 105% bleed resist as well. You're not even playing. It's not even fair, man. So the only option is a blight, right? Oh, let's have a look. Have a look. You've got blight of 55 is still not a great an option. Just saying. Uh, let's try and invinegrate. See if we can get at least some, you know, clutch dodges out of this shit. But honestly, I'm not feeling like this is going to be that likely. Uh, can we stun 95% versus 119. It's not very, not very likely at all, but. The alternative is to just try and do damage. Let's start now, sort of thing. We managed to get a, a heal in before we died horribly, and we're going to dodge it. We didn't dodge it. <laughs> he got two damage back. Oh my god. And a stun. Well, 
very well. <laughs> this is not going well. At least we know what we're doing with Doug, right? We can win this. You're going to heal it. It's buffed. More damage, more accuracy, more crit. That's very bad. I'm going to keep the dodge up. <laughs> I'm a bit scared of it. Maybe we should have tried to stab it, actually. Oh, shit. That's definitely what we should have done. Can we stun this? Please. Just try. We've got a crit of three anyway. Nah. Nah, man. Oh, shit. No, we can deal with this because we've got the bandages. Have you still got... You fucking have as well. Why did I bring you? You tosser. I mean, I want to kill this and it's going to dodge the next attack. I can feel it in my bones. But also, I want people to not die. Fuck it. Can you do what I want you to do from there? Let me, let me find out. Oh, a dodge. Dodges are paying off then. So you're going to uh, have that. Yes. I only to forward one, but that's enough for now. Um, and you're just going to keep smiting. Screw it. To hell with the stun. We're going to tank the damage and deal the fuck with it. Because we're amazing. Okay. Stab it! Ugh! <laughs> Remember to... Alright. Excellent. Good. That is a huge advantage in our favour. Probably the only way I would ever use the word advantage in that situation. You understand? Yeah, you crit him again. Actually, I'm happy with it, but can you crit someone who needs it? Just suggesting. Uh, what's this going to be? Three to five. Fuck it. We just keep putting damage on this bastard. It's Eldritch, so we do get a damage bonus to it. Ooh, that's a stun. But you are in the right position. And it comes off straight away, so we're okay. To some extent. Uh, Zero's accusation will do is no good, because it will only hit the unit once. Um, open vein. We could... This is pretty good chance that we can bleed it eventually. As long as it doesn't dodge. How have you got dodge? Look at the size of you. So I only did two damage. We did resist... We fucking resisted the bleed. I am over the moon about that. You do not understand. There is no way I can adequately express using the limited language available to me how good that is. So that would have put us on death's door otherwise. You're still resisting the bleed, but that's okay. Uh, we're just going to keep stabbing. I've had enough. You're going to die. You've had it, mate. I'll fucking have you. 13 is great because that's going to be, you know... It's not actually enough to tank this thing's worst damage so far, but we'll just keep going. Whittle it down, slowly. It's like it's like in Isaac, where you're not doing very much damage yourself, and you've got loads of HP, but all the enemies just, you know, because you're slow, keep getting hit. So by the time you've realised what's happening, you've got no HP left, and you haven't started getting any good damage. This is Isaac in this situation. Let me just heal. We're nearly there. You know, this thing's been hit so many times, and it's not actually successfully done enough damage to any of us. But oh, he's going to dodge occasionally. I mean, again, in Isaac, you do get to dodge occasionally if you're a good player. So there is that. Uh, you are going to heal yourself and do some damage to that. That's actually really good. A seven on that. Please bleed. Right, now you're dead. That was actually... I was very scared of that, and all the way through, I didn't ever feel confident that we were going to be doing okay. But, we did get there. You know, we did manage to actually overcome what I was expecting to be the worst fight of the dungeon, and yet what happened was that the the groupers, I think the pelagic groupers they're called, or the spearmen, they turned out to be the worst fight of the dungeon. That one, obviously, the fact that we only got the arterial pinch once and we could you know, take the damage and then remove the bleed. Was valuable. Kind of hoping for a scout because if we get a scout, there's a chance of getting the secret room. The way is lit. The path is clear. We've got all these keys, yeah. Only the strength to follow it. Maybe I overdid it on keys because there's not that many things to unlock in this dungeon. I don't know. Yes, secret room, secret room, secret room. Yeah. Secret room, secret room, secret room. A match is struck. A blazing star is born. Fair enough. That actually had a thousand gold in it straight up. 
No. You wouldn't. They did. So what do we do here? Here's the difficulty. What we need to, this has a knockback. So I think what we do is we start attacking the thing at the front. Try and kill it in the first round if we can. To which extent I'm actually going to use to its end, sorry, I'm gonna use Ellie to do some damage to it. This would mean <coughs> excuse me. This would mean why are you there? <coughs> that move her back again. Whatever. This is shit. <laughs> I hate this. Well, that's bad. <laughs> Didn't replace it. I don't want. We don't have the thing that would be really useful right now. I guess we pass. It's only three stress. Whatever. Um, honestly, I was hoping to have killed this by now, but okay. They're so fast. They have a huge speed. No wonder they're going first. Please let me go. Okay, good. Why are you there? <laughs> I don't want you to be there. Move. Fuck. This is bad. This is actually really bad. I really don't know how to deal with these things. I have not yet formulated a um, a tactic, basically. I don't know what to do. They're just beating the shit out of me, and I have no idea how to deal with it. I know how to deal with it. General cuts losses and regroups. You eat food. So here's what I'm gonna do. I apologize for the silence, I was a bit worried. <laughs> oh god, what's happening? We're gonna go to that room. Oh shush. And hopefully the uh just, just keep, keep going. Hopefully the battle in there is not as bad as the battle there, because that... I can't do it. I don't know what to do. Obviously we're not fully leveled for this specific dungeon. This is a level 5 dungeon. We've got level 5s and level 4 units, and they're currently at level 4 gear and abilities, but at the same time you'd think that 4 groupers like that would be doable, but because they moved us around so much... It wasn't just the vast amount of damage that they were doing, which would of course be mitigated by higher level gear. It was also the fact that, you know, they kept putting us in positions where we were completely powerless to do anything. Now what I think I'm going to do is when we get back, I'm going to unlock the uh, Lance, the Holy Lance for both Psycho and uh, Ed. <laughs> because, uh, because, you know, being able to deal with stuff when you're being put back there, that's such a good idea. But now that we know about it, right, it's, it's easy when you know. A bit more cash. We could just run away from the entire thingy, but there's only one room left to do. It's got a battle in it, which is why we didn't go to it before, but it can't be that bad. It could be that bad, but they are surprised, which is actually terrible. So let's see if we can get rid of this. Oh my god, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Like, this is where I start to get salty, because the amount of misses that we get are, you know, they're completely the difference between life and death in this situation. I guess we try and kill these. Fucking, you got 28 dodge. It's not that much. Now, I need to heal myself sufficiently to tank the damage, but also... I, I fucking love Riposte, by the way. This could be the thing that saves it for us, to be honest. Um, I need to remove the dodge from some of these things. Oh, for fuck's sake. These things move us around so much, I don't understand what to do. Like, how do I not... Right? Does that make sense? How do I avoid the, the, the damage that's happening to me because I'm in positions that I literally can't cope with? Uh, I honestly don't know what to do right now. <laughs> Keep Doug alive and hope that we can actually use... No. Just stop it. Please. This was supposed to be an easy fucking mission. I, mean, I know we went to the level 5 code with level 4 people. 
but the things that are happening to me is bullshit. We could just run away. We could stress everybody out, run away, save the people. Or somebody could die and we don't have to deal with them. Right? Which could be better. Stop with this bullshit, Doug. You're pissing me off. Seriously. This guy. We can't open vein on this thing because that thing's protecting it. We kind of have to. Oh, it didn't even bleed. So little damage is happening for us right now. <sighs> I mean, we could just run away, right? And there is an achievement, apparently, for a total party kill. But <laughs> am I going for that with this, this set of units? Not with people who I've named after my friends. Surely. This is the second Doug as well. How many, how many more Dugs? How long is this going to last? It's only rank 1. What does that even mean? Um, guess we increase our dodge. Their dodge is amazing, by the way. Our dodge is bullshit. Just, just die. Just do it. That hit it. Interesting. Can you please dodge anything? We have to leave. We can't deal with this. Because may be lost, but the battle may yet be won. That's fine. No zero. Um I can't beat that fight and I know it. Holy shit! <laughs> you can do that? Oh my god. That is hacks. I think I just hacks that mission. And I'm very happy to have done so. Cavernous maze seems almost I am thrilled to have succeeded at that. I don't even know what I did to deserve that. What is this? Protective collar. How must it only? Yeah. Wow. Okay, that's actually very, very helpful. You can go into a room and leave it and consider to have um, scouted it. To have visited it. I mean, we explored the room. We discovered that there was shit in it. And we ran away. <laughs> Still exploring the room, right? Uh, we have lost fear of mankind, so that's actually quite a decent amount of... Doug can now go back to the ruins and not suffer too much stress damage from the humans that are already doing stress damage, right? But uh, this is not too bad because if you're all doing well, that's not a problem. Anyway. Well. <clears throat> Ahem. Competition fosters skill. Idle Arbalists gain one resolve level. That's actually really good. That happened to our Hound Masters a while ago. Which is why Miri has been way ahead of everybody else recently. We've only got one Arbalist, which is Dutch. But at least it means that... Oh, it's actually got an outline around him. Something we know. Uh, at least Dutch is... Ah, uh, Dutch is level 4, so... He could go out with people, but we might as well let them get up to level 5. And then we've got 4s and 3s to do a level 3 mission with in the future. That seems pretty nice. Uh, so Jairus... Yep, both. Yep, both. Oh, that's actually really good. I didn't realise it was such a good chance of them both being cured in the same week, which is super good. Uh, we now have money again, but at the same time I'm thinking, you know, these people suck. I, do I like Brian enough? <laughs> the thing is, I've I've got this sort of, um, it's like the gambler's fallacy, the, the investment fallacy, where I've put so much time and effort into these people that getting rid of them at level 5 with all level 4 gear seems like a terrible idea, but at the same time, keeping them around and trying to level them up to level six gear we should have a few level fives who we're happy with and you know churn the rest what have we got here a vestal one time i would have been very happy to have seen that but right now i'm not that enamored with it um well i don't really know what to do with the next episode but thank you for watching this one i guess in the next episode we'll discuss what to do in the next episode sort of between times i'll see if i can sort these people out into some semblance of order uh, and have some idea of what I'm doing and I will try and figure out what the correct procedure is like the, the tactics to use against those groups of uh, enemies that move us so prodigiously which is extremely annoying but also very difficult to sort of work against so obviously unlocking ah I did say I would do this actually obviously unlocking these skills is going to be super useful in that respect so I will I mean, I don't even know if it's useful to have damage on them. Just being able to do it seems like a good idea. We'll see how we get on with it. Oh, you've already got it, you bastard. 
Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode, when we'll decide what the hell to do in the next episode. <laughs>